Look at what I just found. An original GoPro Hero 1. <laughs> Classic. Don't even need it. Found two of those actually. I was going through so much old stuff getting rid of it before I'm moving to LA soon, which I'm gonna keep you guys tuned on. I'm actually heading out today to look at a few properties, but I'm trying to stack these videos. I'm gonna get two done today, so if for any reason I can't record a video later today, tomorrow in LA, I'll have it good to go. I'm never gonna miss a day. I promise you guys that. I'm gonna try my best to upload every single day. This video is gonna be a really interesting one. We're gonna talk about how to get less refunds and more satisfied customers, which is gonna overall increase your brand, your revenue, everything, which is always a good thing. I've got my notes here, so let's dive right into that one. The first thing I wanna point out, and this goes for any advertising products, any products on your actual website, all the pictures you need to make sure they're exactly what they show on AliExpress. So if you're trying to find pictures on Google of that product, you better make sure it's high quality and the exact same. If there's any minor difference, like a line is in a different place, something, people are gonna get pissed off and you will hear about it. Me personally, I take all my pictures from AliExpress on the actual products themselves. Sometimes they are very low quality, so you have to either choose a different one, maybe you'll spend a little bit more money outsourcing to that one. Or if one product you're looking for has very low quality pictures, find another listing on AliExpress for that specific product and just take their pictures. Now, also just to touch on this while we're on the subject of AliExpress, make sure that the products you're choosing on AliExpress have orders, have good reviews. All these things that we've talked about in other videos, make sure those are in place because if other people are satisfied, that gives you a higher likelihood of having your customers be satisfied. I'm big on congruency, which I've talked about in a couple of my videos, but that means having everything flow super well from them actually seeing the ad, going through your site, your checkout process, all the way to actually buying it. Even on the back end, when you do all your email lists and all that stuff to retarget and bring them back, I'm always preaching that you need to have a very smooth process throughout all that, and that's very true, especially with your checkout process. Most people just say, yeah, whatever, like they'll just assume that Shopify's already giving them a good checkout process, but that's not true. There are a lot of things you can do to make that a better experience and increase your conversion rates actually as well, but that'll also make your customers more satisfied and more likely to come back and buy again because the experience will be that much better. Now, but what do I mean by that exactly? The biggest thing I always do, and it might seem like the smallest little thing, but trust me, it is not, is instead of just having your shipping say shipping, have it say insured shipping and handling. If I ever build a course or sell anything, that's gonna be in it, but right now I don't have that and I don't really care, so I'm gonna give it to you. Insured shipping and handling. Why? Oh my God, like that will make them so comfortable and so confident with your website when it matters the most, right? They've already entered all their information, before you go through and get to the actual shipping page, you've entered so much information before then. It's right before they click the buy button or submit, finalize their order, and their money disappears. So if you can push them over the edge with that, make them feel that much better about the order, that's gonna also increase your conversions, but just give them a better overall experience because they're gonna feel so confident with the decision. That right there is just all the subconscious and subliminal messaging, you know, sending little waves of emotions and just making them super comfortable, like I said. Now, after someone's already ordered from my site, I try and have an email automatically sent out about three to five hours after that, just thanking them for it and giving them a little coupon code for the next purchase. Just give them something that'll make them feel good because you wanna make sure you stay in touch and keep them feeling good and maybe checking out your store before their product even comes. Because the customers that have already bought from you once have a very high likelihood of buying from you again and so you don't wanna ever just forget about someone and be like, oh, they already bought, I'm done, I'm out. No, you need to invest into that person because they can come back buy three more times, 10 more times, buy five products at once, tell their friends, post on social media, all these different things. So you need to make sure they have the best experience, you follow up, you try to get them back, show them new offers, new promotions, and that's all the stuff we'll talk about on the back end with email marketing and your actual list, which is how you're gonna get people back. But you need to treat those people really, really well after they've bought. Just because they already bought doesn't mean you're done with them, like I said. You need to make sure that you're continuing to follow up with those people and making sure that they stay aware of you, your brand, your store, what's going on, following you on social media, all those different things. Give them incentives to do that, whether that's a coupon code for following you on social media, some sort of, I don't even know. Just try and make them laugh. Do something. Try and do something different than what I do, right? You don't necessarily have to do everything I'm doing. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend it because I'm definitely not the best, not even close. But overall, like I said, with congruence, everything that happens is going to relate into their mental state about their order, what they think about it, how comfortable they were, were they confident with the decision? Because a lot of people, I've had people refund before they even get the product. You know, it doesn't even make sense. It's like, they're like, oh, I, I changed my mind. That right there tells me, okay, they had a bad experience for some reason, especially if it happens more than once. I don't know what your refund rate's looking like, but you want that as low as possible. It sucks, you don't wanna have to go through and refund. It's whatever if it's 10, 20 bucks, but if it keeps happening, 
that's an issue on your end and you need to fix that. So a lot, a lot, a lot of you guys have been hitting me up about Facebook ads, asking me to go through, build some campaigns and do stuff. I'm flying out to LA today and one of my good buddies out there is a total savage with Facebook ads. So I might try and bring him on a video, maybe get him to give you guys some tips for Shopify specifically. Who knows, you know, if you have an agency, he does as well. That's where he does all the Facebook ads for that, doesn't outsource. Not gonna give you too much information on that, I'll see what he thinks, but jump on, give you guys some value on that. But let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Definitely gonna do some stuff on Facebook and just more topics like this, keep the channel rolling. With that being said, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We passed 300, which is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. We're definitely gonna hit 500 this month, which is my goal. Drop a like if you want me to keep making videos every single day, and I got you guys. Take it easy.